What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear God's Quality Control, we're gonna be taking a look at the Anki double guitar case. I've got a knife in one hand and a box in the other, and that can only mean one thing. All right, let's cut this bad boy open. Hey, how you doing? Oh, good God! How long have you been there? Long enough. What we've got here today is the Anki dual guitar case. Uh, they're a pretty new company. Only been around, I think, two years or something. Maybe not even. But the thing that they make is so cool looking, I had to have it. All right. This is gonna be a pretty short unboxing, I think. Spoiler alert, inside this box, is another box. What's in the box? A second box! Inside that box, a third box. My God. Hold the hold the outer hold box. Hold the box. While I pull out the inner box. Check it. Okay. It's got wheels. So the guys who started Anki used to be, well, at least one of them used to work for a cooler manufacturer. That apparently informed the design of the Anki because they wanted to make it at least kind of waterproof and really super sealed. It'll keep your guitars fresh, seal in the flavor, vacuum packed. That's the Anki, promise. So there's like a little a latch. You pull on it, thusly. Boop. Oh. Wow. Shoop, shoop. Wow. This is the second iteration of the Anki case. I guess the first one, this didn't pop off and people didn't like that. And now it does. I mean, you got some storage in there. You could probably just pop it, whack off someone to the with side. it. You could put it off to the side. There's something inside. Oh of it. my God! What is? That? It's a baby Anki. <laughs> oh. oh! We got three boxes today. This is like <laughs> Russian nesting guitar cases. You can, you know, put your capo and your, you know, your little groove gear yeah, fret. Small wraps. guitar. We do have it. This is the handle for it. So you could, you could in theory, you could. I'm ready to fight. Absorve this. A guitar, you, an Anki, snug as a bug in a rug. Okay, if you watch our Nightwish video, our Nightwish rigged, you can see the guitar tech put a guitar into a big touring case and pff, dings the fucking headstock while we were making the video. This isn't gonna happen here because there's a big old thing of foam. Oh, this one's really awkwardly shaped, still fits. It's a little awkward. St. Vincent is an awkwardly shaped guitar. I don't think that any baggage chucker on any airline will be able to cause damage to your shit. And that's really what you wanna know. Can we pop this on real quick? Like so. You gotta slide them. Wow. First try, easy. That's good product design. Pull the little tab, close her up. Well, there you have it. Now we gotta really try it out because sure, it looks like it works but how much can it take? This is real dumb. Do not try this at home. see we gave this case absolute hell we put it through the ringer as best we could without having access to like a tank or explosives or something like that we just threw it off a roof and we had good old rob beat the living piss out of it with a bat he actually went a little bit crazier on it than i was hoping i don't know why he felt the need to go straight for the handle but now we know what it looks like if you smash it with a baseball bat so right off the bat <laughs> you can see that 
even though the handle was completely destroyed, it's like a screw mount handle, so this is easily replaced. But let's, in general, see how the rest of it fared. Um, this I stuck back on because it came off. Um, it doesn't seem to want to stay on since we attacked the poor thing. Scuffed, that's gonna happen no matter what, okay? If you actually take this thing on the road with you, it's gonna get scuffed. Probably the worst damage that occurred was over here on the side panel. This is where Rob took out his rage. I don't know what it was that this case did to him that made him wanna go that crazy on it. But um, as you can see, he did in fact break through the case. You can see there's a lot of pretty heavy dents and big old scrape marks from where he went at it with the bat. This is the worst part of the damage where he actually broke straight through the side of it. As you can see, the whole case itself has these kind of ridges, which I think overall increases the rigidity of the case and the strength of the case as a whole, but it seems like that's also one of the biggest vulnerabilities is along these edges, or at least that's where it broke um, in a nice, neat way in a couple spots. The other thing that happened was the seal. Looks like I could probably pop this back in if I'm a little bit patient. This is sort of the, the weather sealing that comes with the case to keep it uh, keep the moisture out and stuff like that. Like, this is no longer going to be waterproof, as you can see, because there's holes in it. But in its pristine condition, it seems like it would probably keep out lots of different kinds of weather. It doesn't quite line up anymore. It can still hold the guitar in. It's still pretty strong and sturdy. I would still take this out on the road. Obviously, if something like this happens to you in the middle of a tour, you don't really have a chance to get another one. So if it takes that much of a beating and it's still usable, that's pretty damn impressive. Overall, I would say for having been thrown off a roof and attacked with a bat with extreme prejudice, this thing held up pretty damn well. I think it's probably pretty likely that you could do a lot more damage to this with bigger equipment than we have access to, but we put it through the absolute ringer and it's still doing the job of protecting uh, whatever guitars we put in there. Easily the most important point that I should make is that the guitar was completely unharmed. I wasn't gonna put one of my really nice ones in here just because I wasn't completely sure and I hadn't done something any anything nearly this extreme to a case before, but the beater guitar that I put in there was completely unharmed. And that fills me with a lot of confidence when it comes to the Anki because I can't imagine any normal circumstance or even kind of extreme circumstances where your case would be put through this much shit. Like we went fucking ham on this case and the guitar was fine. And that's really what you need. You're not worried about the case. You're worried about what's inside the case. And it seems like it would take a lot more to even get close to hitting the instruments that are inside of it. If you're taking it to war and blowing it up, I can't guarantee the safety of your instrument, but just regular flying, driving, typical wear and tear isn't gonna put a, a ding in this thing. One really important thing to note is that most of the damage to this case came from Rob and his bat, not throwing it off of the roof. The only thing that happened when we threw it off the roof was basically this like exterior cosmetic scuffing. Um, it didn't actually cause any real structural damage. That's really important to note because what are the chances that somebody is actually going to attack your case with a bat or a medieval mace or a hammer or a battle ax or a samurai sword? Pretty fucking low, I think. So if falling, not just falling, but being thrown from that height did almost no damage, then I feel pretty good about putting my guitars in one of these. Also important to note that the handle itself is actually intact. It's just the, the connections uh, that were smashed. The handle itself is uh, still completely all in one piece, so we hung on to it. The foam inside the Anki is incredibly thick and even if you were to break through the plastic, there's still a ton of foam for you to get through. 
until you actually hit an instrument. And on top of that, that makes it very shock absorbent because if your guitars, um, even if they wiggle around a lot, which they probably won't because as you can see, it's extremely tight and uh, form fitting, then all it's gonna bump into is more foam. On the older Ankies, you couldn't take the door off. So it kind of always looked like this when it was parked, but on this newer one, you can pop it right off. And then you've got just this dual guitar stand for on stage or in your house or your practice space or whatever. The outer shell of the case is made of molded polyethylene. I don't know what that is because I'm not a chemist or um, an engineer, but it's uh, ex extraordinarily hard, but still like pretty flexible on the side bits. One cool feature is there's a, a hole here, a spot where you can put a padlock right through it and lock the whole thing up. So uh, if somebody tries to break into it and steal your guitar, they're gonna have a bad time. At around $450 direct, the AMG2 is not what you might call cheap, but if you look at the alternatives on the market, of which there are very few, the Anki stuff starts to look like a really, really good option. It's extremely well made, it's very tough, it comfortably fits two guitars in an extremely tough and light and comparatively compact form factor, and it looks way cooler than the competition, and I think the sort of roto-molded style of case like this is better in just about every way from the typical sort of wood and aluminum style of dual guitar case that I've seen available on the market. When taking your instruments to gigs or on the road, you want them to have a nice, comfortable, safe place to live, someplace nice and soft where you're not gonna have to worry about them getting hurt or dinged or destroyed. And the Anki provides that for two of your guitars at a time. Obviously, we put it to a pretty extreme test and it held together great. So I can uh, pretty confidently recommend the Anki AMG2 if you're looking for something to carry your guitars in. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you wanna chat with the gear gods or other gear mortals about this review or other Gear Gods stuff, you're definitely gonna wanna join our Open to the Public Gear Gods Discord server. The link is in the description below. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button and smack the bell for more reviews and original content. And I'll see you real soon.